In chapter 2521, the story peels back layers of secrecy and intrigue within Wiltspoon, particularly focusing on Matriarch Farrell's calculated maneuvers and Carrie's unpredictable actions. Matriarch Farrell, unaware of Shiloh's non-biological status, reflects on her decision not to hastily arrange an assistant for Shiloh due to perceived inadequacies. Fortunately, this lack of urgency prevents the reshuffling of Catherine's assistance, a process that demands extensive training and years of investment. Cody Jenkins, Matriarch Farrell's general assistant, swiftly leaves a hotel room after delivering a message, giving the impression of a casual meeting with friends. His discreet departure ensures that his presence goes unnoticed, maintaining a facade of normalcy. However, his visit is not without consequences. As Matriarch Farrell learns that the new mobile phone number she acquired through Cody is already under investigation. This revelation prompts her to advise Cody to log out and underscores the intricate dynamics within Wiltspoon, a city teeming with hidden powers. The chapter unveils Matriarch Farrell's strategic mindset and her understanding of the risks associated with her actions in Wiltspoon. Her acknowledgement of the city as a crouching tiger, a hidden dragon, suggests a landscape filled with formidable forces and potential dangers. Matriarch Farrell's cautious approach becomes evident as she contemplates the rapid investigation into the new phone number, emphasizing her ability to navigate the complexities of her surroundings. The focus then shifts to Carrie, Matriarch Farrell's chosen operative in Wiltspoon. The story paints Carrie as a reckless and impulsive character, contrasting her fiery temperament with Matriarch Farrell's calculated demeanor. Despite Carrie's lack of subtlety, Matriarch Farrell relies on her due to her fervent desire to see Serenity and Cameron suffer. The chapter delves into Carrie's movements revealing that she has gone to her aunt's rental house and is being secretly followed. The portrayal of Carrie as oblivious to surveillance underscores her vulnerability and lack of strategic acumen. Matriarch Farrell, unruffled by Carrie's apparent incompetence, reassures herself that Cody will handle the situation. Her trust in Cody's capabilities hints at his role as a reliable and skilled operative in her service. As Matriarch Farrell contemplates her impending return to Jensburg, the story explores the power dynamics within the Farrell family. Catherine, despite appearing weak, proves to be a formidable force, capable of outmaneuvering even Mrs. Farrell's own sons and husband. The familial structure within the Farrell family emphasizes the dominance of women in leadership roles and the requirement for control over husbands, fathers, or brothers for those seeking to lead. The chapter concludes with a phone call interrupting Matriarch Farrell's musings. Shiloh is calling. The anticipation builds as Matriarch Farrell answers the call.